Barcelona is a city of art and architecture, music, fun and parties. Uh, it's a city that has a great respect and love for African American music and culture. So come with me as I wander around the streets of Barcelona. I'm Nelson George and this is BlackAtlas.com. Genius, visionary, prophet. Anthony Gaudi was called all of that and much more during his lifetime. And though he died in 1926, his vision of buildings and architecture still dominates the Barcelona skyline. Today I'm going to walk around and take in some of Gaudi's masterpieces. Gaudi worked on the Sagrada Familia for 40 years, the last 14 years of him exclusively. He dedicated the end of his life to God and religion. And this building obviously reflects that fact. There's many fantastic parks, city parks. You know, there's Central Park in New York, there's Hyde Park in London, but there's nothing quite as distinctive as Park Gruel here in Barcelona because of Gaudi's architecture. It just has a personality, an idiosyncratic space. I guess that's the best way to describe Park Gruel because it has greenery, it has mountains, it has all those things that you want in any great park, but it has Gaudi's architecture and it takes it all to another level. One of the interesting things about Park Gruel is the music. I mean, uh, I've been walking around here today, I've heard, I've heard Chicago blues, I've heard funk coming from somewhere in the distance, Latin flavors, uh, steel pan music. So it's also not just a park you walk through, but there's a really strong musical sense. A lot of it, again, is based on African music, African-American music. Barcelona has a very diverse culture. I mean, it has a strong art and architecture side, and has a strong party side, and a really beautiful uh, beach culture. There are seven beaches in Barcelona. Uh, some are topless, some are more kid-friendly, so you need to check them out before you come. But in general, uh, it's a beautiful atmosphere and a, a great way to spend your time. I'm walking in the area around Los Rambla, which is kind of a big huge outdoor mall, tourist area, uh, shopping center. And I'm looking for a restaurant called Four Gats, or Four Cats, which is a spot I read about. It's a spot that Picasso hung out at. The food is supposed to be ex exceptional, so they have great look. It goes back to the era of the great painters and uh, artists, so I'm looking forward to a good meal and great atmosphere. This is actually the pictures on the menu at Four Cats. Um, it's Picasso. This was one of his hangouts. It was a very bohemian area and um, the place looks amazing. So I'm going to go in. Just had a really, really great paella inside at Four Cats. On any of your like tourist itineraries to Barcelona, Four Cats is really a destination worth going to, both for the food and the atmosphere and the history. I was just coming from dinner here and I happened upon, I heard these explosions and I walked down into this square here uh, and uh, I walked into a giant fireworks display. The town is so much fun. I mean, the crowd is a couple of thousand people in the square here. And what's interesting from an American point of view is that everyone was really close to the fireworks explosions in a way that in the States, you know, they never would let them be because everybody's so uh, conscious of lawsuits and stuff. People were just crowded around right by the explosions. And in fact, the way, that, the way they cleared the square was have these uh, dragons, kind of bulls with water popping out of them, chase people away. So it was no announcement, get the hell out of here. It was just like, the bull came out, the water comes out, people leave. I guess how they do things in Barcelona. In August in uh, Barcelona, they have the Masi Mas Festival, which is jazz all over town. But if you come here any time of the year, Jamborees is a good spot. They have jam sessions every Monday night from like nine o'clock on. And afterwards, they have DJs and kind of a hip hop feel. So if you're in Barcelona and you want to get a regular jazz feel, Jamborees is the spot. Mm -hmm. 
I heard a lot of things about Barcelona before I came here, about the beaches, about the art, about the food and the people. Well, it all turned out to be true. I've had an amazing few days in Barcelona, and I will be back. This is Nelson George for BlackAtlas.com. Catch you in the air.